Hello, everyone. Hey, it's Josh. Welcome to Brain Power AI Simplified Life Amplified. I'm your host, Josh Cavalier. And today we are going to be taking a look at Amazon's Q Stable Diffusion Turbo. Also, I have a site to share with you that's going to allow you to see the latest and greatest GPTs. And guess what? It is the one year anniversary of chat gpt being released today yes happy birthday chat gpt and we do have a special celebration for that coming up before we get into that let's go ahead and get into the news uh, i want to go ahead and share with you a couple things that's happening and so let's go ahead and bounce in over there uh, the first thing i want to talk about today is uh if I can get this up here. So first news item today is uh, AWS Amazon Web Services announces Amazon Q. Now, uh, Amazon Q is uh, the play into the uh, business ecosystem for Amazon. And what we're finding out is that uh, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, are trying to go in and organize uh, every bit of knowledge that you have and create connectors for that. So what we're seeing here is not just Amazon, uh, but also like Microsoft is getting involved with that effort. And you'll see that with Microsoft Graph. So you may hear that, uh, that term Microsoft Graph and essentially, it's the same thing. It's going in and organizing all of your content. So, you know, what does that mean for us as L&D practitioners? Well, I have a uh, file that I want to go ahead and show you here as far as the impact. And uh, this particular document that I will share in the show notes is an overview of how AI uh, where it sits within the whole entire HR ecosystem. And if we look all the way at the top, you can see business platform. And so you're going to see, again, players like Amazon, Microsoft, and Google start to begin to put hooks into all of the documents and everything that is within your whole entire tech stack. Now, in regards to performance, it, it remains to be seen exactly how that shows up for our associates. And I do believe that as either AWS Q or Microsoft Graph or Google Business and the way that they go in and organize all of that information there within uh, the Google ecosystem, uh, how it shows up for uh, getting information in the flow of work. I think we're going to see maturation in that area. So heads up. I mean, this is just the start. And I think we're going to see more in that area. So that's uh, news item number one. Next news item I want to get into is Stable Diffusion Turbo. Uh, this is a pretty interesting play by Stable Diffusion. And with this particular functionality, they have the model down to a point to where you can begin typing and images just appear. Let's go ahead and take a look and a listen to this. Pretty wild. And so, you know, we do see a maturation occurring here with image generation models. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try myself. So I'm going to pop over here. And this is at clipdrop.co forward slash stable diffusion. Uh, I will put the link in the show notes so you can go ahead and uh, sign up and try this yourself for free. And so um, watch what happens when I come in here and I'll start with something basic here, like a monkey. And we get that appearing right away. 
in a spacesuit. And eventually get it on the moon. With a sandwich. And there it is. So a lot of fun. And it's interesting to see this model, again, based upon the text that you immediately put in there, kick back an image. So we're, we're getting uh, you know, expedited content creation processes occurring here uh, with this stable diffusion. So that's interesting. Last news item I want to share with you is a brand new site that goes and organizes GPTs. Now, if you're not familiar with GPTs, GPTs are the latest from OpenAI that allows you to go in and create an agent functionality. All right. And so I've created a multiple choice GPT, uh, which I will again share in the show notes for you. You can go ahead and try that out if you are on GPT4, the paid version. But with all these GPTs being created, how do we keep them organized? I mean, we see people posting about their GPTs, and we can go ahead and put that in an Excel spreadsheet or a Notion, try to keep them organized. Well, I got one site for you. Uh, this site is sufel.com. And if you go sufel.com forward slash GPTs, you can actually come in here and see the most popular GPTs that are currently out there in the wild, in the public, uh, with a rating in here. So you can see Dolly's the number one, uh, but it goes down and you can scroll through and you can see the usage number over there on the right-hand side in addition to the rating. And the author is also here. So this is kind of fun. Uh, again, if you have been using GPTs, you can easily take advantage of this and uh, give it a go. All right. So now we need to go ahead and just take a moment and celebrate the one year birthday of chat GPT. All right. So with that, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Chat GPT. Happy birthday to you. All right. Well, if you're not familiar with that character, that is Chad GPT, who occasionally helps me out here, uh, either on YouTube or some of my other videos. And the exercise that we're going to go through today is I'm going to be creating that from scratch, utilizing multiple AI tools so you can actually see the workflow. And we're gonna be using ChatGPT 11 Labs for audio. I'm also gonna be using Adobe Animator. So for the rest of the episode here, I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through step-by-step -step the process for creating that animation. The step-by-step -step instructions will be in the show notes, so stay tuned. Uh, those will be down there. All right, well, let's go ahead and start the process. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over to chat GPT and get this over here. And so uh, in chat GPT, I want to go in and create a script. I simply just need the lyrics from Happy Birthday uh, with changing out Chat GPT. And the, I, the thought is that once I have the lyrics, I can go in and then place that into my uh, audio transformation tool, which is going to be 11 Labs. So let's go ahead and let's see if this is going to work. What I need here is uh, lyrics for Happy Birthday to chat GPT. So this is a zero shot prompt. And it went ahead and created a birthday song here. Uh, I'm using the 3.5 model. Uh, not exactly what I'm looking for. I'm going to go ahead and try the original song. 
And watch what happens here. So, and it's using the original melody, which I could use uh, in this case, but I wanted the original lyrics. And if I were to go ahead and try this one more time, uh, you'll notice that there will actually be a copyright issue. Uh, it'll recognize that if I ask for the original song, uh, it will recognize the copyright and it won't allow me to do it. Um, so. I can't seem to get the original lyrics here. What are my options? You know, one of the fascinating things about working with artificial intelligence and generative AI is that we're constantly introduced to new ways of creating content. And I have a diagram here that I want to share with you that you will uh, see in the show notes that deals with multimodal generative AI prompts. And you'll notice that over on the left-hand side where it says inputs. Up until this point, for most of us, we have been inputting text into chat GPT. But recently, uh, with Dolly uh, and other multimodal capabilities, you have been able to upload images as part of a prompt, which is absolutely fascinating. And so we have all these different models that are out there, whether it be text generation, image generation, audio, video, 3D, even code, uh, that will take a certain form of media, take it through the model, and then output certain media or code on the back end, right? So there's a different way that we have to think about content creation. Now, in this case, I was going to go ahead and take some text and using Eleven Labs, transform it into audio to get our happy birthday song. Didn't quite get the original lyrics. So I am going to try a different technique for this that is a brand new feature in Eleven Labs. For, you, for those of you that are not familiar with Eleven Labs, uh, that is a, uh, a tool that allows you to go in and generate audio, uh, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, and it's probably one of the most realistic models that's out there today. Well, I don't have the original text-based lyrics to Happy Birthday to sing to ChatGPT, so I'm going to use this new feature right here, which is speech to speech. This is going to allow me to just sing Happy Birthday to ChatGPT, and then we can go in and we can convert it into a different voice while it maintains the enunciation and the tone and my horrible singing style, which you're going to experience here momentarily. All right. Well, I'm going to be using Sam here today. And Sam kind of sounds like this. All right. Great. Thank you, Sam. All right. Perfect. So now I need to go in and I need to record my audio. So I'm going to select record audio, I'm going to hit record and sing this song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, chat GPT. Happy birthday to you. All right, so <laughs> we're just going to roll with that. And I'm going to hit generate. And we're going to see what we're going to get here. So it's just going to take a moment for the model to take my original audio, utilizing the Sam voice, and convert it. <laughs> All right. Well, a little work needs to be done with that. Now I can go in and adjust settings and, you know, try, try regenerating it, but that's good enough. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm going to download that audio. I'm just going to throw it on my desktop here and we will just call this chat GPT. 
All right, very good. Let me just save that out. All right, so now I have the audio. The next tool that I'm going to use here today is Adobe Animator. Uh, Adobe Character Animator is absolutely amazing. It allows you to quickly spin up a character and uh, place your audio and or webcam and hit the record button and bring this character to life. Now today, the workflow I'm gonna use is I'm gonna go in and create a, a brand new file here. And it's gonna end up looking like this because we need it composited. We're gonna do some green screen work here today also uh, to get this into Camtasia eventually. All right, so. Let me just go in and make a new file here. So this is what we want. I'm going to make a new project. And I'm in the starter mode. I'm going to scroll down here. And all the way down at the bottom. Whoops. I should see my robot. So I'm going to select my robot. And we're going to get a brand new scene that's going to be generated. Excellent. I want to import the recorded speech. There's my MP3 file. Let me import that in. I'm going to go ahead and create a new background because we want to composite this. And let me just play it. And you can see the mouth movements. <laughs> really wild. Okay. So we're getting there. Uh, now, what I want to do is just go right to editing, skip to editing. And you'll notice that over on the right hand side, I have some movements. So I need to now coordinate these movements of the robot with the words. And we want, you know, a lot of big arm movements because it's singing a song. So I'm going to take these arm movements. I can give a little preview of it. Drag it down here. And then we want some other arm movements here. Let's just go ahead and have them swing back and forth like so. Another big arm movement. And we want to bring it home here at the end with kind of a shocked look. Like so. And let's go ahead and play this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, chat GPT. All right. Well, that's cooking. So this is ready to rock. I just need to go ahead and export this from Character Animator. I do want to let you know that the same functionality uh, you can find in Adobe Express. So if you are on Creative Cloud and you do have access to Adobe Express, you can go ahead and leverage the character animator module in there and also get similar type of functionality. Now, within this environment, uh, you're going to get a lot of detailed uh, functionality in here, uh, including the ability to go ahead and rig your own characters. So uh, you can check it out in Adobe Express. Okay, we need to export this out. So let me go ahead and hit the export button. We're gonna place this up on the desktop just to make it easy here today. And I'm just gonna go ahead and call it my robot. Save it out. That's saved. So now I need to go ahead and have a, uh, I need a video editing program to bring all this together and get our final happy birthday video for ChatGPT and my video editing program today is going to be TechSmith Camtasia. I'm simply gonna make a new project. And you know you could use any video editing tool that you have. If you have uh, Descript or DaVinci, Premiere, um, Final Cut, whatever you have, um, you can easily go ahead and take this MP4 file and get it into the environment. The key 
is that you know we need to have some type of green screen capability to composite this character uh, with this birthday background that I have. Okay, now I need to get my media in here. So I'm going to go over to the media bin, click the plus icon, import my media. And right on the desktop, All right, I have my birthday celebration. So let me go ahead and bring that in. This is gonna be the background. We can go ahead and take a look at that. And that was uh, downloaded from Envato, Envato, Envato Elements. Again, I will put the link in the show notes, if you want to go ahead and check out Envato, we need our robot. And there's our robot. Now, I don't know if that's the one that I just exported. I may have placed that somewhere else, but I'm going to use this one here. No problem. Let me go ahead and open that up. And I'll drop my robot down onto the timeline. All right, well, now I need to go ahead and composite this robot on top of the background, and we're going to be using a visual effect for that. So we're going to go over to visual effects, scroll down through the visual effects, and you can see here I can remove a color. I'll simply take that functionality, drop it onto the clip, go over to the property panel, click on my color chip, grab the eyedropper tool, and select the green. And now it's composite in the background. A little hard to see the robot. Let's go ahead and take a look and a list and see what we have here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, chat GPT. Happy birthday to you. Okay. All right, and then he's going to go off screen there. So now what I want to do is go in and uh, get it so that I can actually see the background. It's just going to have a little bit of a color adjustment in there. And to do that, uh, what I'll do is go ahead and make a few edits in here. So I'll select my background, move my playback head to the front part of that clip. I'm gonna go in and grab the split tool here and split my clip and come over here, come down to the end and split the clip again. Now I wanna take this part in the middle and do a visual effect on it here. Just gonna do a color adjustment. So let me drag color adjustment down. You can see that is a probably a little harsh. So let me go ahead and zero these out here in the property panel. Get them all in the center here. And then I wanna go ahead and take the brightness and just knock it back. All right, well, that's gonna be just a little abrupt when he pops on here. So, we need a transition. Now, one of my favorite transitions is the fade transition. I'll take the fade transition and put it between these two separated clips on track number one and in this location right here. And that's gonna give us a nice gentle fade. Happy birthday. Finally, Chad GPT is just happened to be popping on the screen a little bit something a little bit smoother. One functionality that we do have in Camtasia is the ability to add an animation behavior. And so I want the character to appear on screen and then go off. All right, so I'm gonna go over to behaviors and I have a sliding behavior that I'm gonna pop on here. We have properties for that sliding behavior. The in animation is sliding in from the left, perfect. During the animation, I don't want anything occurring, so I'm gonna say none. And then out, it goes stage right. Let's give a look and a listen. Happy birthday to you. Happy 
birthday to you. Okay, and then out the door, stage right, away he goes. And that fades back up. And just finally, gonna put the, the little icing on the cake, right? We're gonna go in, grab the fade, fade the whole video in, fade the whole video out, and we are ready to rock. So it fades in, transition background, robot comes on stage, and then off the back end, robot leaves, happy birthday, comes back up as far as brightness, and then it fades out in the end. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and export that out. And that is our chat GPT birthday. And we'll just do that on my desktop here real quick and export it out. All right. Well, thank you so much. For those of you that are here live, I do appreciate you hanging in there with me on this very first pilot episode. For those of you that are watching the recording, uh, again, check out the show notes for links to all the news that I started at the top of the show and all the PDFs that were viewed today, including the HR AI ecosystem and the multi multimodal uh, generative AI prompt PDF. You'll get those. And of course, links to all the applications that were used today in the exercise with those step-by-step -step instructions. A couple of notes here before I head out here today. Uh, again, you can find me up on joshcavalier.com. And for those of you that are deep into ChatGPT and are doing prompting, please go out and grab my free 150 prompts file. This is access to a Notion site with tons of educational prompts you could take advantage of. And with that, I'm going to sign off for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode and see you down the road.